Hi everyone, it's Mr. Ramirez here again for another fantastic episode of Mr. Ramirez reading the Bible. Now today I'm going to be reading Genesis. But first let me start with a proverb. The proverb of the day, the 2nd of April 2013. Okay, so this is the proverb. Okay, the second... It says, tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. So tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. So that's, that's quite good for what I'm about to read. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Let's understand what, says, what it says in Genesis. And Proverbs chapter 4 says my children listen when your father when your father corrects you pay attention and learn good so pay attention and learn good and last lastly 13 a wise child accepts accepts a parent's discipline a mocker refuses to listen to correction that's true a mocker refuses to listen to correction but a wise child accepts a parent's discipline. So now that I've done that, now that I've done that, let's go to Genesis chapter 4. That's right, not in the beginning. I'm going to go a little bit forward. Still in the beginning, Genesis. But I'm going to be reading today, not Adam and Eve, not the beginning of creation. Not Noah, but I'm going to be reading today, or Joseph, I'm going to be reading Cain and Abel. The story of Cain and Abel. So let's start from the beginning. Genesis, chapter 4. Now Adam, and, now Adam had sexual relations with his wife, Eve, and she became pregnant. When she gave birth to Cain, she said, With the Lord's help, I have produced a man. Later she gave birth to his brother named Abel. When they grew up, Abel became a shepherd, while Cain cultivated the ground. When it was time for the harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. Abel also, also brought a gift, the best of the firstborn lambs from his flock. The best of the firstborn lambs from his flock. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but he did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. Why are you so angry? The Lord asked Cain. So the Lord asked Cain, Why are you so angry, Cain? Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. So God said to Cain, you will, do, you will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it and be its master. One day Cain suggested to his brother. So Cain suggested to his brother, Abel, let's go out in the fields. Let's go out in the fields. And while they were in the fields, while they, they were in the fields, in the field, Cain attacked his brother and killed him. So Cain killed Abel. Afterward, the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother? So God asked Cain, Where is your brother? Where is Abel? Afterward, Oh no, Cain said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where my brother is. Cain responded, Am I my brother's guardian? Or like it says another translation, Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper, God? But the Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed and banished. From the ground which has swallowed your brother's blood. 
No longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Cain replied to the Lord. So Cain replied to the Lord. He said to the Lord, My punishment is too great for me to bear. You have banished me from the land and from your presence. You have made me a homeless wanderer. Anyone who finds me will kill me. The Lord replied, No, for I will give you a sevenfold punishment for to, to end. I will give a sevenfold punish, punishment to anyone who kills you. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain to warn anyone who might try to kill him. So he put a mark on Cain, the mark of Cain. So Cain left the Lord's presence and settled in the lad in the land of Nod, east of Eden. So the descendants of Cain, these are the descendants of Cain. Cain had sexual relations with his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to Anok. Anok, Anok, Anok. Then Cain founded a city which he named Anok. After his son Anok had a son named Arad. Arad became the father the father of uh, Mahula Mahujla. <laughs> I can't pronounce the name. Mahujla. Mahujla became the father of Mahush Mahushla. Mahushla became the father of Lamich. Lamich. Lamich married Lamich married two women. The first was Ada and the second was Silai. Ada gave birth to Jabba, who was the first of those who raised livestock and live in tents. His brother's name was Jubal, the first of who played the harp and flute. Lamach, Lamach's other wife, Sila, gave birth to a son named tu Tubal Cain. He became an expert in forging tools of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain had a sister named Nama. One day, Lamach said to his wives, Adam and Sila, Ada, not Adam, sorry, Ada and Sila, hear my voice, listen to me. You wives of Lamech, Lamech, I have killed a man who attacked me, a young man who wounded me. If someone who kills Cain is punished, if someone who kills Cain is punished seven times, then the one who kills me will be punished, punished seventy times. The birth of Seth. So remember, Adam and Eve they lost the first son, Abel, to Cain. Uh, God, God vanished God got rid of um, Cain he put the mark of Cain so after this was the birth of Seth the birth of Seth Adam had sexual sexual relations with his wife again and she gave birth to another son so Adam and Eve gave birth to Seth she named him Seth for she said God has granted me another son in place of Abel whom Cain killed when Seth grew up he had a son named him he had a son and named him Anosh. At that time, people first began to worship the Lord by name. So that was the end of Cain and Abel. And then after, and the story of Cain after Cain. So you see, am I my brother's keeper? The, the mark of Cain. Yes, we are. We are meant to be our brother's keeper. Our brother's keeper. Okay, We are meant to be the guardian. Which we are meant to look after our, our own brothers and sisters. Love them, not just our brothers in the family, outside, strangers. We are meant to be our brother's keeper. We're meant to be our brother's keeper. Let's not be like Cain, let's be like Abel. Okay? Let's be able to love one another. Okay? To be our brother's keeper, our brother's guardian. Okay? Let's look after our brothers and sisters. Not like the government. Some of the government, but yeah, or some of the people. Let's, let's show love to the people. Show love. So anyway, that's been the end of Genesis chapter 4 with Mr. Ramirez reading the Bible for you. The story of Cain and Abel and the curse of Cain and then the continuation into the birth of Seth after the death of Abel. So be like Abel, not like Cain. Be like Abel. Be able to stay with God and be strong. And love one another. Be your brother's keeper. So this has been a good read for me. I hope it is for you as well. Hope you enjoyed the story of Cain and Abel. The story of Abel and Cain. That's been enough for now. See you soon where I'm going to read you another story. Let's find out next time what story I'm going to read you. Let's see.
Anyway, take care now. See ya.